day 15. Oh, I slept so well. I'm very comfortable here. Nice bed. It was in a creepy house. I mean, it's old as all get out, but it is not creepy at all. Two story. And has a, like a picture on the wall with the old timey ones where the guy's eyes follow you around. They totally follow you. Even though they're not supposed to. You know, they they kind of do. He just has beady eyes, though. It's not haunted. I totally overslept. It's like 6 a.m. The sun will be coming up sometime soon. And I have a groovy road walk out of town. Who doesn't like a road walk? There is tons of stuff coming up. There's another town in like two days. So all I packed was a couple of days worth of food. Man, we're going there. Um, that place has like a real grocery store. And then after that, the town is huge. You know, probably like four or five days after that. I'm hoping to get my hammock by then. Really hoping, man. Fingers crossed. Dalton, I think is the name of that town. It has three post offices so big. You know, you're big when you have three post office. All right, so I'm making my coffee and my oatmeal, and let's get the hell out of here, man. We got, we got some vials to make. Road walking. This is the upstairs common room. This is the guy's talking about with his beady eyes that follow you around. No matter where I'm standing, that dude's just staring at me. What are you looking at, man? He just got the beadiest eyes, though. I wouldn't trust him. None of these fireplaces are working fireplaces, but they put stuff in them. So they have to tell you not to set the stuff on fire that they put in there. I like that. It's made out of marbles and such. I think they're epoxied together, but I'm not sure. But I like it. I've never seen stained glass with marbles. Got all sorts of bedrooms. That's a bedroom bath. That one's a bedroom bath. That's where I took a shower last night. I didn't even come over to these ones. <laughs> Rather cool place. And only 60 bucks a night. That's not bad. It's, you know, I normally don't stay by myself, but yeah, I had to get it this. This is my room. Creepy little girl on the wall. Always oh, kiss me goodnight. See, like mine, they put pine cones in it, but they're like, don't set them on fire. Small room. I had a crib I could crash in, you know. I sleep like a baby sometimes. Okay, and we're off. It's a little chilly. Now, I'm technically supposed to go around this way and around the pool and then back around this way. But I've been through this a couple of times. I know it's way shorter if I walk over here and use the bridge. So it was very comfortable in there. I, I rather liked it. Early 1800s log cabin. I would have rather stayed in there. I wonder when the last time somebody's been inside that. Okay, so, man, yeah, we gotta stop somewhere, have a safety meeting. I guess I could do that while I walk. I just got this extra banana in my hand. I guess I could put it in my pocket next to my other banana. Okay, so I have a 20-something mile road walk out of here. And, yeah, uh, there was another hiker in there. She's actually being a stickler. She got off the road five or six miles ago and came in, so she's getting dropped back down the road five or six miles and walking into here that's stickler i was able to get up all close to these there were some geese and ducks here yesterday just hanging out and like they didn't seem to care that i was walking by which i found unusual how are you doing today goosey goose no i ain't gonna stretch out i was just seeing if you'd let me come close looks like your wings wounded anyway wagged your tail you're in a good mood i like it when ducks wag their tails or goose, duck, same thing to me. My swimming pool is steaming. Oh, it's cold. I threw my hammock away, so I am just that much lighter. And I only have two days or so worth of food on my back. So that's pretty nice too. Step off at a tiny town, grab three more days. And then make it to a big town. Hopefully, my hammock will be there when I get there. Because it's supposed to storm tomorrow. 
And there are no more shelters, according to the hiker I was just hanging out with. She didn't even know there were shelters on this trail. She was coming from Harper's Ferry, so she did, you know, half the AT. And, uh, and then she decided just all on a whim to do the Pinhoti as well. But she was like, there's shelters? I was like, yeah, I'm passing like three a day. She's like, no, there's, there's none from here on. I was like, son of a bitch. I was kind of relying on those. So yeah, when it starts raining, I guess I'll just set up early, get under my tarp and complain. Hopefully it's a warm rain. Oh, that's a new children's sign. I haven't seen this one yet. But that kid still looks like one of the adults. Not as chubby, though. Things. But running. But less like the weird adult one in the last town. No, they like the buff kids up north. Now, is it just me? Or do these lions look more like they're pooping? That's the totally the stance my cat takes when he's in a cat box. And I can tell by the look on his face, it's a little bit bigger than he was expecting. We've all been there, buddy. Just relax. It'll all work itself out. Did somebody, like, handmade this sign? Because, okay, like, look at the top. Okay, where is room for the S in there? Low or soft shoulder? I don't know. Where is room for the S? I understand somebody took the T, that's not their fault, but you can't fit the word slow in there. Just saying all my Michiganders and whatnot, if you came down to the south, man, you might just be able to make enough money in cans to make the trip worth it. I mean, this place is just littered with money sitting on the side of the road. I mean, most of it, yes, is garbage, but a lot of it is actual money. Just aluminum everywhere. And the majority of it not even crushed, because I believe in Michigan they have to be, like, uh, in decent condition to be recycled. The machine won't take them if they're all flattened. Something burning over there. Good morning, sunshine. I don't feel you yet, but huh, yeah, I see you. Do your thing. That's a nice little purple sheen on this on this little meadow. All the little flowers are popping. Absolutely no dumping allowed. Yeah. <laughs> Throw it out bit by bit, but don't dump it all out at once, man. I can not only smell that smoldering mess, but I can see it in the air. And uh, my nose knows. It actually doesn't know much because it doesn't work very well. But I am guessing there's tires in that pile of burning stuff. Yeah. This actually kind of sucks. See how long it goes on for it. There's a haze for a minute, and I'm assured it's all coming from that thing. I think it's one of those things where there's a pressure difference, so the smoke only rises so far and then travels across. You see it sometimes where it comes up and it hits this invisible roof and just spreads out right around there. It's actually kind of cool. That stuff I didn't even see getting very high, but yeah, I can still see where it's coming from right there. Look how smoky it is around the corner. Uh, that is gross. It's like one of these giant tractor tires or something. Or a small pile of them. Look how thick it is. I don't even see the actual smoldering anymore. I think I do, maybe, through the trees. But you can definitely tell the general direction it's coming from, huh?
middle of March, they still have their Christmas decorations up and their Halloween in hunts. Him, I'd leave up all year long. Definitely see that, but the Christmas ornaments, I mean, come on, those are seasonal. Still marking the trail for me. Oh, it looks like it's been there for a while. Is that a tree house? That thing's like 15 feet off the ground. Crazy. Cool, man. I dig it. Well, I just passed somewhere. She's the hiker that was staying at the hostel I was staying at, or not really a hostel. I don't even know what it's considered. Oh, is it an academy? But she said, because uh, she did give me a warning about uh, four dogs up the way that might be mildly aggressive. One, a short-haired black one with a white leg, is the is the one I got to look out for. So, good to know. I will be prepared. With a, hey puppy, how you doing? We'll see if we can charm him. That's what I'm going to do, man. By the way, safety meeting in progress. All right, let's go meet some puppies. The Terrys. It's actually not their last name. It's just that everybody that happens to live here is named Terry. It's a bit confusing, but you, you get used to it. Good luck breaking that one with a baseball bat, huh? It's actually breaking on on its own. It's totally at an angle. Well, it looks like somebody has hit it. It's dented real good on the other side. And it's kind of hard to dent chain link. Oh, he's dogs. I see him getting ready. <laughs> he's, he's all like, what? There's somebody coming. I know there is. <laughs> and we will move to the other side of the road just to appease. But just in case. But that doesn't seem overly aggressive. I'm going with mildly aggressive. Though. It's okay, puppy dog. Yeah, I know. That's your territory. I don't want nothing to do with it. Oh, hackles are up. I can hear a little growl in her voice. Dogs are dicks. Like they're barking at you, like get away. But as soon as you turn your back to get away, they're like, I'm going for you. Yeah. <laughs> Such an asshole move. Get the road, dog. Right. And we're safe. <laughs> Never mind, it came in hot. It was like, your back is turned, even though it was a whole yard away. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> Fucker. I turned around, it was coming in hot. As soon as you turn around there, they're like, no, 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 I was just kidding. Dogs are jerks. I know their owners are jerks, and the dog takes on the characteristics of its owner. Happens all the time. Were I so inclined, in a half mile, I can take a left and go just maybe point one off trail, maybe point two, something real short. And there's a convenience store that happens to have a pizza joint in it. Now, I am not actually hungry right now. But I know when I get hungry, I'm like, well, I guess I'll have me a tuna packet. Oh, I didn't even grab any sort of bread product to put tuna on. So I'm just going to eat tuna out of the packet. I'd be like, man, I really wish I would have packed a small pizza, a personal pizza or something like that out with me. So I believe that's what I'm going to do. And I haven't taken a break yet, so I'm definitely going to do that. This could be bad. Back out, puppies. Yeah, I know. We're all cool. Oh, it's that same one. Okay. 
Oh, you're a dick. You ain't got friends. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. You're a dick. I just put a post in how you're not aggressive. You're just protective. Well, you ain't got friends. What a dick. You're an asshole. Oh, you're all acting nice while the car's coming by and you're like, going back to it. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> but there's all sorts of comments about these guys. Well, this one. And I, I put it in there, I'm like, he's not aggressive, he's just being protective. But no, no, he's aggressive. He went and got friends. That was... That was premeditated. That takes this from a from a second degree to a first degree. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't want a Mesha because that costs money. Even though I didn't pay for this, I don't have to buy a new one. Jerks. They stop at the poop. Like, <laughs> <you> know, like, <laughs> these dogs are assholes. Now, I know I'm in Georgia, so none of this stuff is actually weed, but what is THCA? Because that sure looks like a pre roll, but I know it's not. And over here we have THCA, cannabis, cannabis. Yeah. But I know it's not actual weed. I wonder what it is. Come on. Serving size is two or three puffs daily. Who does two or three puffs of anything? Come on. We're addicts around here. Magically on the other side, it will be done. Technology. New Eminem Caramel Cold Brew. All sorts of interesting stuff. Half of it has dust on it. It's old. It's funny that thick green grass is growing everywhere, that the bad sod isn't. That's a really bad sod job. You can't get sod to grow in the south, man. If you can't get grass to grow in the south, you're doing something wrong. I didn't even think they did sod out here. But that's green as fuck. But so is everything else. Except your sod. When you're walking along and you don't want the sun on your face, you tilt your head low until you can't see the sun on your nose. But the sun's still touching the bottom of your face. The way you're able to tell is you stick your tongue out. If you can see sunlight on your tongue, your face isn't low enough, and I'm not walking around looking like that. So it's like, I'm just going to eat a little bit of sunshine on the tip of my nose. This is why my nose is a different color than the rest of my face. It just sticks out there just far enough. But at least I got some facial hair protecting my chin. If not, if you walk down, still, still sunlight's hitting everything. Just not my nose. That's got, that can't be good for your neck to walk like that. Plus, you don't see shit going on. Not that there's much to see on the roadblock, but still got to pay attention. Normally I would not wear my hat at a weird angle like this. I'm a, I'm a 6 and 12 kind of guy. 3 and 9 just, it just doesn't sit right with me. But if you're headed in the same direction for a very long time and the sun is at a specific angle, it's the only way to block your face. So, yeah. I don't mind looking dumb for a little while if it serves a purpose. Finally, I was like, if I'm walking on streets, I, I feel safe grabbing a cup from a convenience store. You know, I had a cup of coffee. It was only a buck fifty. Uh, but yeah, I was expecting some garbage cans eventually. But damn, I've been walking with an empty cup for a minute. Thanks for being here. One trip, trash removal. I'm veering off from the big road. There is a another road of equal size, but it seems less used. Just hoping. Speed limit is lower. It'll connect back with that one in, I don't know, maybe a mile or so, but here, I'll take it in the meantime.
and walk on this side because this is where the shadows are the thickest. Guess this is the time of year when everybody piles up their shit and sets it on fire. This guy's out doing some tractor work, huge ass bon not even a bonfire, it's just smolders. It happens. I mean, that's big. You, you could light a flame to that, it doesn't have to smolder. How long do these things smolder? These neighborhoods have been all filled with smoke. It must be annoying living next to these people. Like, great, Jim's out burning shit again. He's not even burning it. He's got a smolder pile going. That's the size of a small house. Go in there and stack it better with your tractor. Stoke that thing. Get your leaf blower out. Just go, wah! Get some flames going. You can burn stuff with that smoke. It is possible. These people are like bucket. They just burn their trash in their front yard. I don't care. I see another fire going off in the back. Crazy. More bamboo. Healthier. Taller. Look how tall that is. I'm assuming this was planted by somebody though. Does make for a great fence. It's tall, it's dense. They definitely take, once it takes root, there's really no getting rid of it. I wonder what happened if you planted kudzu in the middle of it though. Would the kudzu kill the bamboo? There'd be an ever-going struggle between the two. Oh, that was nice. I just walked through this guy's uh, gravel driveway and it turns out it wasn't gravel. It felt really nice. I was like, what is this? It's chunks of tire. Feels great to walk on. It's like my shoes have their own insoles on the outside. Outsoles. You see where you have outer soles. Oh, that's what the sole is. Ha uh ha, -huh, you've got a three foot fence. You can't possibly jump a three foot fence. <laughs> Remember at the end of Poltergeist when the house just got sucked into nothing and there's nothing left but a concrete slab? That was it. Or well, the same thing might have happened here. Random little patch of color. Did somebody spill some seed there? There's none anywhere else. Spill some seed. <laughs> uh, you guys have dirty muffins. And just another smolder and pile of rubbish in somebody's front yard. You don't even have to watch it out here. That's that's what kind of gets me. It's like you just light it and walk away. Crazy. I'm a chatty dude, so if you're in your front yard, I'll probably say something to you. And I've talked with enough people around here to know there's a bajillion different accents. Some people I cannot understand a damn thing they say. I just smile and nod, and if they giggle, I giggle. Um, but I have no idea what they said, like not even a word of it. But luckily it seems to be just short pleasantries. So it's not a you know, conversation, because conversation would be impossible. We'd need an interpreter. I wonder if they can understand me. I don't know, there's no way of knowing. Maybe I'll figure out some sort of dialect that we share in common. Draw sticks in the dirt or something. I don't know, but there's literally there's some people out here I cannot understand. I go by me and look at like, me and I'm like, what the fuck did you just say? But I don't say anything like that. Oh, the south. Eight full-size vehicles on property, guy, but I can tell by the pine needles that only one actually drives. And a Coke machine. Hey, why would you ever be like, I'm gonna take that Coke machine home? I can put it in my yard. Oh, people. Actually, I, I could see my mom doing that. Just saw a turtle swimming in there. Uh, it says on gut hooks not to drink this stuff. Uh, it's run off and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And to buy it at places. And there is a convenience store in six miles, and I have about six miles worth of water. So, yeah, I'm going there. I might even buy myself a beer or two for the road. It's been a minute. Coming up to a larger road, I believe, just by the speed in which I've seen the few cars have gone by, have gone by. 
And we're gonna be on it for a long time. It's the one. That sounds pretty important, huh? As far as my map goes, there's just a number one along it, so. Route one, state route one, I'm not sure. I thought that was in California. Yeah, this one is definitely a bit bigger. Shoulder looks much, much wider, that's so. Okay, that's important. And we're walking away from the sun. Groovy. It's like I'm looking down and tilt my hat. Eh, I can deal with, I can deal with this. There's a decent amount of big trucks on this road, but they're all unladen. They're, they look like logging trucks to me, so I assume they've already dropped off and they're going back to get more. Oh, but they've all been really courteous, even though I have this really big shoulder to walk on. They, when they see me, they change lanes. Uh, you know, and that's, that's really nice. You know, we wave at each other. It's cool. I like keeping things friendly. But, yeah, they don't even need to move over. Look how far I am from the road. I mean, Officer W. Rose would think I was trespassing on this road, but no, I am not. I belong here. Not really here, but you know, passing through, passing through. Just a decent amount of water right there. Like a huge piece of a leaf spring. Oh my god. And that came flying off of somebody's car. Oh, that would wreck your day. It's one of the risks, man. Things come flying off of vehicles all the time. I mean, that is how most of this stuff ends up here. Most people don't throw. Well, I'll take that back. A lot of garbage isn't thrown here intentionally. And especially when you see car parts, tires and such. Man, those things just come flying off of cars. I myself have seen it more than once, but I've watched many a YouTube video where tires just come out of nowhere and wreck people's whole lives. Sometimes a room full of people. Like they're indoors and a tire somehow finds its way in to kick in their asses. Oh shit, I've been going the wrong way the whole time. Damn. I think I know they didn't want to just throw this out. No information on it though. I haven't actually touched a Polaroid in forever. Are they still a thing? I guess they must be because I mean it's not like this is you know decades older. There's even puds on the road walk. Look at the size of some of these ant hills. And then there's, there's tons of them. One, two, three, four that I can see. Five. There's a big old six. I'm pretty sure they're all fire ants, but I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure. That's good enough for me. And out of curiosity, I poked one just to see if they are actually indeed full of aggressive ants and... Yes, in indeed they are. Man, that's... Gotta keep my eye out for them when I, when I, when I camp for the next few weeks or hopefully one week. Have that hammock soon, real soon. It's like freaking everywhere, man. Ants, 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 ants. How do you just leave behind your whole windshield?
this from the same guy? Or is it a common occurrence out here? You gotta watch out for leaf springs coming out of nowhere and getting you in the ankles, man. Shattering into a thousand pieces. I meant the leaf spring, because my ankles are badass, man. Well, Julie just pulled over. She shuttles hikers, so she knows who I am and what I'm doing. Not specifically who I am, but you know, who I am. Ooh. Baby deer. Not truck. Well, she pulled over to let me know and she gave me the name of a road, and when I see it, it'll trigger the memory because I don't remember the name of it right now. <laughs> but she was like, hey, they did a controlled burn there. Might still be smoldering because she didn't know, you know, essentially what kind of frou-frou hiker I am. So she's like, and it's pretty much what she said without saying it. You know, she, was, she was very nice about it. But she's like, hey, if you're a little bitch, I'm just going to let you know. The stuff up here is burned. Don't try to sleep there. It's probably a bad idea. I was like, no, cool. I really appreciate the advice. I like no one opposed to being surprised, but I would like to walk through another burn area that's smoldering. I kind of enjoyed it last time. It had a certain mystique to it. It'd probably be really cool in the early AM. Maybe see some glowing embers and stuff. Make a pot of coffee on one. We are limited for gas. I didn't buy any in the last town because I didn't really see any place that sold it. Didn't search, but it looked. Oh, but I was like, I've got enough for two days. And this next time I'm going to has a real grocery store, so I'll have better chances. And, and we'll figure something out. I always do. Rarely do we go without coffee. I'm supposed to follow that. I'm getting mixed messages here. So yeah, laden trucks head that away. drop off somewhere up there and then they come back this way empty. I haven't seen any of them coming towards me full. I wonder where the mill is. Am I going to pass by one of them huge yards just filled with trees? But if you've seen the machine that cuts them down, it does look kind of fun to operate and I wouldn't mind doing that as a job in the off season. I bet it pays pretty well. I am pretty good with machinery. Give me a couple of days on anything, I start off a little rough, you know, who doesn't? But a few days, I'm really good at stuff. I play video games a lot in my life, and it's kind of, they kind of translate over into machinery. Driving things, driven a lot of weird things in my time. I haven't killed anybody yet. No major accidents either. One decent accident, but totally not my fault. Somebody else got fired for it, proving this, it was not my fault. So I gotta be a little careful. There's bark and decent sized wood chips and whatnot. And you know, when a big truck is flying past, it, all sorts of stuff's being thrown up in the air. Do not keep looking forward. I always look straight at the ground, for, you know, so nothing hits me in the face because that's my money maker. And I don't want my hat to get blown off my head. I see any really large chunks of wood in the road, you know, I will time it to where I'm not crossing that point when a large truck is going by. I don't think any of these sticks or bark will do much damage, but still, taking anything to the eye or straight to the tip of the nose just sucks. See, that truck moved over, and he did it for me. I know he did. Thanks, man. Where did this thing come from? Oh, there's a bunch of them. Okay, they plant them on the other side for erosion control. Okay. I thought it fell off a truck. I was like, oh, Jesus, now I gotta worry about falling rocks. But horizontally falling? Ah, oh, didn't even think of that. You're a particle board. There's a bridge coming up here. I'm gonna see if we can't get underneath that, take a break, eat some pizza, a little safety meeting, relax, listen to the cars go by. So it's really exposed. I could just sit here and eat my pizza, but I don't want people staring at me while I eat my pizza, okay? They all look at me. 
I have to. I'm the most interesting thing on the road. Somebody has a little camp set up down here. Fire ring going on and all that. I believe I will enjoy that rock over there. Thank you. So I came over the grass to take a pee. And I looked up here and I was like, hey man, that is a horizontal wasp nest. I've never seen one. I've only seen them on ceilings, not walls. And that. And then I looked past it, and you know them swallows that make their nests out of mud? Look at all these nests. That dark line going all the way down is nest after nest after nest after nest after nest. There's hundreds that I can see from here. That is the most jammed in I have ever seen them in all of my travels ever. I ate two slices of this heavy stuff because man it is heavy but the good news is it is it's disgusting and that's some horrible fucking pizza but I got it at a gas station the bad news is but I got plenty of it it's heavy oh. and I'm not I'm not I'm not wanting to eat it man I ate two pieces and it was it was pretty gross I choked them down I don't know maybe when I hit the circle K and get a little alcohol going because yeah I'm gonna do a little tipsy road walking why not man uh, maybe this pizza will taste a little better then. Alright, safety meeting. And I have also noticed while I've been sitting here, see these uh, tube looking structures? Those, that, oh, these. Yeah, those are all wasp nests. They're pretty much everywhere under here. Things got a lot of interesting life going on. I think that's where they lay their babies. And then, you know, they hatch out and go out and murder some bug. Or they don't even kill the bug in most of the cases. They just paralyze it and lay an egg on it so that their young can devour it all fresh. Wasps are vicious. Look at all them big dead trees. I don't know if it has anything to do with the swamp. Maybe they all got drowned in a swamp. Glad I zoomed in on the map and went ahead a little bit. Because instead of going like, I don't know, it was probably a good mile and a half off trail to get to the convenience stores to get water. Uh, there's one on trail in another four miles. So that's what we're going to do. Seems like there's a cluster of things. Might even be a small town. I'm not sure. But obviously we're gonna find out. Unless a tire comes out of nowhere and creams me. There's a possibility. Keep your eyes open. Duck and weave, duck and weave. They can't get you. There was a tire that could have got. I'm waiting. I think the tread was hanging off like, I don't know, six or eight inches as far as I can tell. I mean, it's spinning around really fast, so you can't tell, tell. But yeah, one of his back tires. He had got out to check. I know he knows that it has a problem. He pulled over right here, got out, walked around his truck. But then as he drove away, I could see it. And I mean, you don't realize it, but tire tread weighs a lot. It's really sharp, it's hot, solid, dense, filled with wires and shit. Yeah, that'll, that'll wreck your day, man. And he's just carrying on. He's like, no big deal. Don't know why it took me miles to think about this, but I, I could play some music, couldn't I? That'd be better. It's not like I'm listening to nature out here. I'm listening to cars screaming by. And since everything's coming from one direction, uh, I, don't, I don't really need my ears. Plus, I'll leave one open. I always do. There is a lot of bark on the road. And I have to assume 
almost all of it comes from just the truck driving by with our logs on. What happened here? Yeah, I pissed him off. I don't know why, but I like bugging with him. Ants are some of my favorite creatures, but not necessarily those ones. I'm pretty sure they're invasive anyway. I'm allowed to hate them. Not necessarily hate them. I just dislike them a lot. Too damn many of them. But they must eat everything. To be, you know, have this many colonies this close together. You know, what are they eating? And I have to assume it's like anything. Plants, animals, doesn't really matter. They'll eat it all. At this point, it's a pattern. Is it all the same guy? Or are they just really common? I don't know if that's the entire one. That, that's both sides and the center of a big leaf spring. So I'm thinking I'm not going to find any more, is, is my guess. Wildlife area? Who are you fucking kidding? <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, the animals are going to fucking love this, man. Like, Thanks. Yeah, we're just sick of having all that wilderness to ourselves. Quite literally, those are numbers, I don't know, 68, 69. A lot of trucks have come through here with, with wood on them. I don't know who this is, but they, they knew my whole name, so. How they say they know me, are they here to kill me or to help me? I'm assuming help. Well, kick ass the tailbilly. We hiked with him a bit on this on the PCT. He totally remembers us. I barely remember him, but he's cool with that and he knows that. He already knew that coming in. But he knows exactly what a hiker needs. He knew how to track me out here. Not hard really. He knew exactly where I was. Uh, right now we're blocking traffic, so we're moving. Oh, yeah, we could just go over here, huh? Hey, but he's got plans. He's going to slack pack me and shit like that. So I'm like, oh, I want to hear these plans. But we were blocking the road for the big truck. So we had to move a little bit. Oh, hell yeah. Everything works out great. Um, I'm not the first person he stocked on this trail. He's got some land up here. He spent some time. So he, he knows where we're at. But he's going to hook me up. He's going to go do some shit and then pick me up down the road in another seven or eight miles. Uh, we're gonna have some steak dinners, hang out, and you know, relax. Uh, he, he he knows this area. He you know I don't. Uh, so he's like, yeah, I got these places I can slack pack you. They're all twenty-ish mile sprints, you know, each one. And you know, I can do twenty miles, especially without a pack on. Yeah, I got that. I've been doing like eighteens on average every day with a pack. Uh, it's also it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Like, uh, when I got the uh, hotel room for the night, the lady assumed I was staying a few nights because she's like, oh, you know, there's a rainstorm coming in. And I was like, yeah, I, I don't worry about those things. I just kind of deal with them. Uh, but since I do not have a hammock or anything, it would be nice to ride out the storm, especially with a friend. You know, that's kick-ass. Part of a trekking pole. That purple thing right there, part of a trekking pole. Somebody else must have walked here. How do you break your trekking pole on a roadwalk? That's weird. It's a fucking groovy, man. I got stuff to look forward to. Later, brother. <laughs> oh, good times. Good times indeed. Ooh, the Billy gave me something called an arrogant bastard. It was just a lot of alcohol in a little can. Well, it was a tall boy, but still. I am, I'm pretty loose off of one little can.
Road walks are more interesting when you got a little buzz going on. <laughs> uh, it definitely helps. You don't wander into traffic. I saw a lot of smoke coming from over there and now I see water shooting out really far. I assume they're fighting a fire right there. Now you're getting to spray me a little bit. It's a warm day. You know those guys waiting on me before they come down here with their tractor? They were great on the other side of the road. I think they're coming back this way. But I think they're waiting on me. Yep, as soon as I got here, they pulled off doing their thing. So yeah, they were waiting on me. Appreciate it. Sorry, guys. But now I gotta watch their mulch. Oh, this is where the place the logs are going. They gotta keep the logs wet so they don't burst into flames. This is what I'm betting it is. And then we have to do that with piles of mulch and compost and things in Arizona. And they will burst into flames if you just leave them unattended. This turns to mist more or less. Like a gentle rain on all the logs. All those are stacked logs. those go. I'd rather be on them right now. I do like some good railroad tracks. I'm assuming both these roads meet up again. But I'm gonna check the map because I haven't looked at it in a minute. Just to make sure I'm on the right side of this. It took me a second to figure out what it was. But like I even checked the bottom of my shoes. I was like, there, there's shit around here, man. A lot of shit. Like, you know, where is it coming from? Look at the bottom of my shoes. I haven't stepped in shit in years, but I remember if you step in it, you can smell it. No, it's the fucking wood mill, paper mill. I don't know what it is. But once I turned the corner and got down away where the wind was blowing, you know, it hit me. Yeah, that thing smells like shit. I didn't expect wood product to smell that bad. But the townsfolk can't smell it anymore. But oh, I can't. But it's worse for everybody else. Paper mills aren't great. Or wood mill or whatever the fuck it is. Luckily for me, there's some sort of vehicle on the side of the road with flashing lights. Which is forcing everybody to get into the right hand lane. And I don't have to deal with them because his shoulder is rather narrow. I wonder how much you have to pay to have your body stored at a church. But I'm pretty sure it's bragging rights for the church, too. Like, you want to have a bigger cemetery. You know, it's, I don't know, it's proof that you are better than the others, I would think. People want to be dead at your place. I mean, that's a, like a great review on Yelp. That guy must be a great salesman. He's selling meat out of the back of his car in a, ga in a gas station. This is his fourth customer. Never driven anything like that before. This is where they evidently they make fence posts. Is what I'm guessing those are. Post mill, just posts in general. Fence posts. 
Oops, I overshot my turn. I was supposed to turn up here. And I walked like a hundred yards past it, but I, I still did. What the hell is that? I'm seeing a trigger fish. It's kind of a weird thing to have on a pole. <laughs> Pretty sure that's a trigger fish. I know a lot about fish, you know. Being all landlocked my whole life. Well, this actually looks clearer than most of the stuff I've walked by today. And it is flowing ever so slowly. Some thick brush it's coming out of. But now nah, I got enough to get me where I'm going. I only have to make it like five miles or so. That's where Hillbilly's going to pick me up. Unless he picks me up somewhere else. Uh, we're leaving it very open-ended. But he's got my number. I got his. And I'm going to be having me a steak dinner tonight. Fuck yeah, man. Ugh. Good times. Well, boo, I just noticed my colorful thing fell off. And I'm not walking back to see where it happened. I can't see it from here, so. <laughs> well, boo, I enjoyed that thing. Big old thicket of bamboo over here. You can totally sneak in there and find camp spots, though. It's all private property, though. How much, how much does the sign company make off of private property signs out here? Because there's a bajillion of them. Posted. Keep out. There's just no shoulder, man. Figures there'd still be logging trucks on this tiny road. A little stressful. Just a little bit, not really. So technically the trail goes up this road for another, I don't know, a few hundred yards or so. And then cuts back to this road. So yeah, I'm just going to stay on this road. Uh, it was trying to lead me to a parking lot. Yeah, I don't need one of those things. I came here on foot. Well, I guess at some points I do like that because, you know, it gives you slight yogi opportunities. Those are nice. Anytime you get to mingle with people, some magic possibilities might just happen. We don't know. But I already got all the magic I can handle, so I'm sticking with the road. Would not be a bad campsite at all. Well, other than the fact that there is a pullover right here, which means many people poop there, and there is a good chance there's a body in that blanket right there. I mean, look at the look at the loft on that thing, all wrapped up. Yeah, there's somebody in there. But other than the body and the poop, great place to camp. Okay, so I was supposed to be up on that cool bridge. But, you know, other than that, I don't think I missed out on anything. So I can expect to the road right here. That is a pretty cool bridge. Well, looky here, I must be on some sort of trail trail. Look how wide it is. And we don't just have garbage cans. We have garbage cans I could ride out a storm in. And don't think I wouldn't. If it was bad enough, I would pull the garbage can out of there and hop in. It's got a roof. Now I can get down with this. I just started getting overcast so the sun's not beating my face up no more. That's pretty nice. 
pleasant little walk in. We're throwing up air quotes the woods. Yeah, we can hear traffic right over there, but you just pretend that that's water. Water shifts gears sometimes. It happens, it's natural. Physics. Look it up. Man, instead of just going up and over this hill, I'm pretty sure it's this one right over here. We're doing a six mile loop around it to get to that point on the other side. Really? I'm assuming it's because somebody owns that mountain. Well, if, as long as it's on something like this, not too bad. But if it's on the blacktop with no shoulder, that sucks, man. I did not enjoy that at all. We're back to having a little stream on the side. And tires. Because you really can't go anywhere in the south without having some tires in the woods. Once you get one tire, two or three, people think you collect tires, so they come over and they bring a tire over with them because they're like, well, obviously the dude's in them. He's got tires everywhere. And I got a few lying around. And then all of a sudden, you're a tire hoarder. You didn't even know you are going to be, but that's how it happens. Well, I am almost to the place where I'm meeting Hillbilly. I was just looking at the comments for the area, and there's another pack of really aggressive dogs. Hooray. It's that same dog again. I'm like, what? I don't know if you guys noticed from the video, because, you know, I don't know what shows up. But when the dog first confronted me, it was in a house on my left. Okay, and then literally, like, we're talking a mile later almost, the dog came from the right, him in the pack. So I don't know if I twisty turned and his house amounted on the other side of me. I don't know, but he went and got friends, and they came back down the road at me from the right-hand side. I would have loved to hear the dog conversation. Yeah, I got some asshole over here. Let's go kick his ass. They're all like, yeah, yeah, let's go get him. But yeah, you know, I'd, <laughs> I'd love to just see it in action, him going to round up the troops. <laughs> that came in hot and heavy for a bunch of really old guys. <laughs> uh it was okay if you think about it, but you know, I didn't want to get bit all at the same time. Even an old dog could bite. It's just a, their tooth might stay in you. <laughs> now that I'm replaying that whole thing in my mind, a lady drove through <laughs> and did absolutely nothing. We even made eye contact for a quick second. I know that she was a younger black woman, but that's all I know because I was dealing with like four angry dogs. Like, she didn't honk at him, no nothing. She just kind of looked at me like, ooh, sucks to be you. Yeah, and <laughs> kept going. At least she drove by slowly. You could at least honk something. <laughs> but, uh, uh, it's kind of funny. She's just like, ooh, sucks to be you, man. Yeah, them, them four dogs. <laughs> I didn't expect her to jump out and help me or anything. I, I would have for her. Just saying. I'm also thinking back to me holding my uh, bear spray out in front of me, pointing it at them. Because I pointed a gun at dogs before, too, and they seem to know what pointing an object at them means. Maybe it's the confidence in the way you do it. But I'm thinking it's all bright, they'll notice it. And then I remember, dogs can't see red. Yeah, their eyes aren't built that way. <laughs> so I'm just pointing this the indiscriminate gray eye at them. At them. Oh, these are huge bamboo. Oh, see, when I think bamboo, this is what I think. And Hans. I could build a house out of that shit. Look how lush it is. Beautiful. Okay, I was not expecting that at all. Even the little bamboo I wasn't expecting. But this stuff, this out of, this is out of anime, man. Lighting the trail in there. Look how thick it gets. Crazy. I could build a hut in there and nobody would know. This is how almost every armadillo I've ever seen has been. Roadkill. I think I've seen him in the zoo. 
definitely seen them on TV, but that one when I was sleeping the other night was my first live one. Loud critters. They don't care if everything knows where they're at. They just turn into a little football. Okay, so I keep going from here is where I'm supposed to keep going. But this is where oh, I was going to meet Hillbilly. So I'm going to hang out here. We, we discussed if he doesn't show up or if I felt like moving on, just call him. But now this is good for me. I'll deal with those dogs tomorrow or day after. It's supposed to rain tonight and tomorrow kind of stuff, so... Well, if I got a port in a storm, sounds pretty cool to me. Let's see if that pole's comfortable to sit on. Well, Groovy, right when I turned on my phone to see if I have service to text him... Actually, I wasn't going to text him. I just wanted to see if something would come through, and it did. And it says, hey, I'm 15 minutes out. Now, I don't know when he sent that, because my phone will tell me it was sent like as soon as my phone was turned on. It doesn't tell me actual time it was sent. It tells me time received. <sighs> so, but, yeah, I thought, hey, I'm there. And there's a chimney just sitting there by itself. And that's... At one point, there must have been a house right there. And it's just chim chim chimney. You know, and if I want, if I got here early when I get here, I could just road walk around these dogs. We'll see how I feel. I'm not, like, overly intimidated, but it's easy to say that when you don't have dogs nipping at you. Ooh, I am in a groovy old house. Oh, it's all upstairs. This is the room I was given. I'm probably going to spend a day or two here. Might as well ride out a storm. He's going to slack pack me around making dinner right now and whatnot. This is Braille. I'm reading it. Find some outlets. 